y'all so we're gonna do one more unboxing real quick this is kind of just stuff that's just like accumulated and i haven't done anything with it because i haven't had time because finals we're done with those so we we're fishing all right so i guess we're just going through the hard baits real quick um so these little arc uh crankbaits we got one in the monster bass box and i was intrigued by it so i saw this and i thought it was pretty cool this is the ct5-7 it is a square bill and it goes five to seven feet and this color is called double kill yo this color is sick this is going to be a dirty water slayer see told you dirty water slayer i am so excited about that one um yeah we're not going to go in too, de too in depth with these but i'm going to show you all a bunch of stuff so this is the lp 58 this is a like a lipless type bait and the color is chartreuse blue another great dirty water lure awesome next up we got the tb 115 all it is is kind of like a um it's a spit and top water and i think this is bone color but look at that that is sick that is sick awesome I'm really excited to throw this one next up I don't know how this got mixed in with this but this come with a monster bass something um, I think it was it was, uh, it was one of their free bait deals from the VIP list this is the TS 115 and this is the chartreuse dog color so all it is is like a pearlized purple with chartreuse that is going that is going to smoke some bass and i'm so excited to tie that on like y'all just don't even understand i just know that these these are going to just catch giant bass you don't have to say anything else about it and then these are also slayers so this is the berkeley chopo this is the 90 size i have the um i don't know if it's bullfrog color but it, it literally looks like a bullfrog and so um i didn't have the chrome I wanted the chrome got the chrome also stumbled upon these this is the berkeley hit stick nine these dive 2.5 to 6 feet and so i got it in blue bullet and daniled daniled awesome excited to try those out uh, then I got a jig. This is uh, these jigs are only like two dollars. They were in like a bin. Um, not sure what the name of it is because they always put the Hudson Hammer baits. Um, this is Pearl Glimmerance three eighths ounce. It's just a shad profile. I don't have a ton of these, so I picked one up uh -oh. to have an extra for when I break them off because I always break stuff off. Uh, a little bit of tack terminal tackle. We got some shaky heads. We got half ounce cream pumpkin. That's all you need to know about that. Found this in Walmart. This is called the Swimming Snake. I have no idea who makes it. Swimming Snake. It's a put the head on this is supposed to rotate. So I literally just got this to see what the heck it does. May not catch anything. I don't really care. Uh, then we got this for weights and or. A technique specific box. I haven't decided what I want to do with this yet, but it's 3500 for Plano. You know it's good. Uh, next up, we got Ned Rig stuff. This is TRD Crawl, Drew's Crawl, uh, Third Eye Fishing. I love these on a drop shot. This is a Ned Worm, but this works so much better on a drop shot, in my opinion. And peanut butter and jelly catch gigantic bass, so add the cart. Click. Um, then we got some Yum ned dingers and soft watermelon blue flake i kind of like the muted tone of this and so i just want to try it i actually got this because i had a jig that was like green pumpkin chartreuse and it's in the pie now so sick next up we got a couple of finesse worms this is the uh birthday cake finesse worm this is the magnum finesse worm and jumbo this is a big fish killing machine if you do not have these in your truck boat kayak in your pocket 
in your underwear, I don't care. This is a, you need this. And you need this on a chartreuse net head. Don't say I didn't warn you. Next up, we got a 8 inch Magnum Lizard and PBJ. Really don't have to say much else about that. Got Trick Worm and Sun Gill. Don't have to say anything about that. This is a Magnum Trick Worm and Red Shad. Big fish like Red Shad. Put it in your notebook. Write it down. Go get a pack. All right, next up, the only thing I got left is Berkeley Maxon. I have been just slaying bass on the flatworm, and so I wanted to try some different ones. I got two little jig trailers. Um, I guess you could take six rig these, but I got them for jig trailers. Uh, this is a chicker crawl, three inch. I got it in black and blue, and then watermelon. Simple. Then I wanted to try the hit worm. I got the green pumpkin. And then I got the plum apple. Those are two colors that you cannot go wrong with. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then I got three packages of flatworms. So I got my favorite, which is Mango Magic. I got Gobi, which kind of looks like Mango Magic. But if you look, Gobi is on the bottom and Mango Magic is on the top. So. And then lastly, I got the black, just to try it. That's my baits. All right, so last, I want to bring this to your attention. This was an Academy, and it wasn't but like $20. And this bag feels like a $50 bag to me. So this is a Plano 3700, and it's a sling over like that, or you can go all the way around your head. Um, this is going to be a pond hopping bag. I'm going to have this rigged out full of just, I'm going to put a couple of baits in a box and then put a terminal box in here. And I'm just going to be able to grab it and go. I'm not going to have to worry about it. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to do a review on this. Let me know if you know of anything else that you would like to do a review on. I'd be glad to uh, pick it up or check it out. Um, any other power bait uh, products that you think I should try, drop it down in the link below. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one.